Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis is back in the news today as the General Assembly is now taking a closer look at her. Fox Eyes Tyler Fingert is live at the state capitol with the details. Tyler. Yeah, Christine, good afternoon to you. Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis is facing attacks on two different fronts from state lawmakers over her election meddling case. Today, the Senate announced a new committee that will be investigating her, all while a one member of the House wants to impeach her. Georgia senators had a lively debate Friday before voting on whether to create a special committee to investigate allegations of misconduct by Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis. We've got better things to do. Let's see where the facts take us. Willis is accused of having an inappropriate relationship with Special Prosecutor Nathan Wade and profiting from the prosecution of former President Donald Trump and others in the county's election interference case. We want to know where is our money going and that's what this does. All we've heard is allegations. And most of it come from an ex-wife who mad. Despite Democrats objecting, the resolution passed Friday. The yeas are 30 and the nays are 19. The special committee will swear in witnesses and gather evidence, but can't discipline Willis. The sponsor said this is about looking at where state funds went and if there needs to be changes in the future. The reality is, as these new facts have come to light, it has caused great concern not only for us, but constituents all over the state of Georgia. Political ret retribution is what it is. Over on the House side, at least one lawmaker doesn't want to investigate Willis but impeach her. I'm doing my job because she didn't do her job. She brought charges against 19 people that really did nothing other than state their First Amendment right. Representative Charlize Bird from Woodstock says she still believes there was fraud in the 2020 election despite state election officials not finding any. Democrats are shocked at what's happening under the gold dome. We cannot succeed as a country with one of our two main political parties embroiled in lies, disinformation, conspiracy theories, and political retribution. So far, no vote on that impeachment. As for the special committee, members are expected to be announced next week. I did reach out to the Fulton County District Attorney's Office today, but they told me that Willis had no comment. We're live at the state capitol this afternoon. Tyler Fingert, Fox 5 News. How things have taken a turn in this situation. All right, Tyler, thanks.